general purpose overhead traveling crane generally consists of a bridge, trolley frame, lifting mechanism, trolley operating mechanism, crane operating mechanism, driver's cab safety devices, power supply and control system, etc. Bridge frame usually consists of two box deep main girders and two box deep end girders. Trolley rails on the upper cover of the main girder. Trolley rails and rails fitted to the outer side of the main girder webs. Rated lifting capacity markings in a prominent position. Main girders, trolley rails, and girders. Trolley frames. The trolley frame is used for mounting the lifting mechanism. And the trolley running mechanism. Lifting mechanism, trolley running mechanism. Lifting mechanism. Consists of a reel, coupling, reducer, brake, drive shaft, electric motor, pulley block, wire rope and pickup device, etc. Reducer reel, steel wire rope, brake motor, pulley block, pulley block, retrieving device. The crane running mechanism. Crane traveling mechanism usually consists of wheel block, coupling, reducer, drive shaft, brake, and electric motor, etc. Wheel set, coupling, coupling, brake, reducer, transaxle, motor, the trolley running mechanism, wheel block, drive shaft, reducer, coupling, motor, and brake, etc. Brake, motor, coupling, wheel block, coupling, Drive shaft, reducer, driver's rule is a space specially designed, constructed and equipped for operating the crane. Contains control equipment for the operation of the crane, lighting equipment, and signal devices. The main safety protection and guarding devices of general purpose overhead cranes are emergency stop switch. In case of emergency, the driver can quickly stop all crane operations by operating the switch. Operation Warning Bell Used for the driver to send out acoustic warning signals to remind the relevant personnel to pay attention to the Lifting Weight Limiter When the hoisting load exceeds the set value, to cut off the power source of the assist. Preventing damage to the crane's parts and components due to overloading. Working mechanism. Metal structure. Lifting height limiter. When the pickup device rises to the upper limit position specified in the desing, cuts off the rising power source. Stops the hoisting mechanism. Prevents damage to the crane. Lowering depth limiter. When the pickup device descends to the lower limit position specified in the desync, cuts off the descending power source, stops the hoisting mechanism, prevents damage to the crane. Running stroke limiters. When the running mechanism reaches the limit position specified in the desync, cuts off the power source in the forward direction, stops the running mechanism. Prevents damage to the equipment or accidents caused by further running. Includes running stroke limiters for large vehicles, running stroke limiters for trolleys. Interlocking Protectio There are two main types of protection introduced here. One is the door interlocking. Its function is to open the door when entering the overhead crane. When boarding the bridge's hatch door from the driver's compartment, 
Disconnect the power supply to the mechanism that may pose a danger to personnel due to the action of the mechanism. The other type is the operational interlock. Its role is four cranes that can be operated in two or more places. Setting Operation Interlock Protectio to ensure that it can only be operated in one place. Prevent damage to the crane or accidents caused by simultaneous operation of two or more locations. Buffers Absorption of kinetic energy from the operation of the crane or hoisting trolley to mitigate the impact of a crane or trolley colliding with a stop body. Buffers are set on cranes and lifting trolleys. Corresponding position of collision with the stopper between cranes operating on the same track and between double trolleys on the same bridge should also be provided with buffers. Track sweep. The function is to remove the material accumulated on the track, ensure that the crane or hoisting trolley operates properly. End stop. Mounted on the end of a large or small car track, preventing the derailment of cranes or lifting trolleys, causing accidents. Conductive slide line protection plate. When cranes are powered by slip lines, preventing maintenance personnel or hoisting ropes, the lifted object swings against the sliding contact line, causing damage to the sliding contact line or electrocution. Exposed moving parts guards. Preventing injury to persons from exposed moving parts on lifting machinery. Anti-collision device. Preventing collisions between two or more cranes. When the lifting trolley runs on the same track, anti-collision devices should also be installed. The power supply unit is the device that delivers power to the crane. Commonly used power supply devices include power contact lines, collectors, and cables. Control system. It is to control the crane mechanisms in accordance with the predetermined direction, speed, route, and travel of movement. And the setup system mainly consists of control devices and control cabinets.